Hey guys, and welcome to my video review of Left 4 Dead 2 on the Xbox 360. Okay, start out by telling you that Left 4 Dead 2 is the sequel to Left 4 Dead. Uh, the game is by Electronic Arts, and it's actually a first person shooter survival horror game. Um, the game is basically um, a lot like Resident Evil. Um, but if you remember Resident Evil Online, it's more like pretty much that style, but uh, enhanced. Because um, it does revolve around um, cooperative play. And you can get up to four players online. And the game works best when it's uh, when there's more people involved, when you're part of a group. Because... It's not just uh, run around and shoot zombies. There are different types of zombies that you will encounter that require uh, different strategies. For example, there are some zombies that can uh, that are that are standing on top of roofs. You can't see them until they grab you with their tongue, and basically they're strangling you to death. The only way to save yourself is if a teammate, someone, one of the survivors, comes up to you and is able to save you by uh, holding a button to revive you or shooting the zombie to death so you definitely need your teammates you gotta rely on each other a lot and this is good for uh, cooperative play it makes things more exciting uh, it also presents more of a challenge but that's what I really like about this game alright so you have a lot of different uh, varieties of weapons uh, mostly guns you got your machine guns, shotguns um, rocket launcher uh, I think you have grenades you got double pistols um, all kinds of stuff like that and then you have your um, pickups like you can get uh, not only ammo and weapons but you can also get uh, melee weapons like a frying pan a guitar lots of fun stuff um, also you can get health packs obviously to restore your health um, and you can get uh, I think adrenaline uh, boost which will make you Invincible for a short period of time. Um, the way your your health works is that it regenerates. Um, it takes a little while, but it starts to regenerate, and you get all the way back to full health. Um, but a health pack will uh, will bring you back up to speed, give you back up to full health. Um, I want to talk about the um, the gameplay itself. Um, I thought the gameplay was really good. Uh, the gameplay was really interesting. The controls uh, worked well. You know, you use your uh, right or left trigger to fire your gun. Um, I think your Y button to switch between your guns. Um, you know, you could do things like run and jump. Um, it's actually pretty difficult, to tell you the truth. Um, it takes a lot of practice. There is a small learning curve. Um, there are certain types of um, zombies that require a lot more effort, such as um, the tank zombie, which can, which we really have to use like a rocket launcher against because he just he's so strong he can take a whole lot of damage. So you're better off running from him or getting a vantage point where you could maybe snipe him or uh, just hold him off. But um. Let's see here. The game has some really interesting environments. Like um, it has the inner city, has like a swamp, um, and of course there's the amusement park, which is a lot of fun. So some really interesting environments. Um, every now and then, every couple seconds, well, not seconds, but every couple minutes, you'll have like a raid of, of zombies. Like all of a sudden, there'll be an entire. Uh, crowd of zombies come sprinting directly at you and you just have to unload uh, it's pretty tough to to um, avoid getting injured there but uh yeah you just gotta keep moving and keep moving forward keep moving in the right direction but thankfully there's lots of uh, items to pick up everywhere you look pretty much you can find health packs you can find weapons and ammo And if you do run out of uh, ammo, you can, of course, use your melee weapons, which is great. Now, I thought the graphics in this game were very nice. Um, 
I liked all the uh, the visuals were very detailed, uh, very realistic and gritty. Um, a lot of scenes were dark and creepy. You had to use like a flashlight. Um, I think the online play was pretty good. It had good processing. You got achievements. You could do voice. Um, up to four players, like I've said. Uh, I don't think there's any rankings, but overall, the online experience was very good. And I think you can find um, quite a few people who are willing to play with you in this in the game. Yeah, I think the sound were great. The effects, the sound effects were awesome. Uh, the zombies, you know, all kinds of screams and growling and and howling and uh, the 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 gun sounded great. I mean, the shotgun sounds like a shotgun. Explosions, wonderful, everything. Uh, voices were very clear. Background music is not very noticeable, but then again, it's it's also not annoying. So, hey, the background music is all right. Um, I think the best thing about the game is just it's just fun. It's a quick play. You can instantly pick it up with a friend and get some satisfaction like right away. Tons of action. Uh, it does get very repetitive though. Uh, overall, I'm gonna give Left 4 Dead 2 a B plus, and I recommend that you pick it up and have some fun with it. Um, it's definitely worth the rental. You might even want to consider purchasing the game. Um, let me know what you think about this game if you've had a chance to play it and uh, thanks for watching my video and I'll see you later